Heart ablation surgery is like resetting your heart's rhythm. It's a procedure that treats irregular heartbeats, also known as arrhythmias. Imagine your heart has a natural electrical system that controls your heartbeat. When this system malfunctions, it can lead to arrhythmias, causing your heart to beat too fast, too slow, or erratically. Ablation aims to correct these faulty electrical signals. It's like fixing a short circuit in your heart's wiring. By doing so, this minimally invasive procedure helps restore your heart's normal rhythm and improves your overall heart health. This procedure is usually recommended when medications haven't been successful in managing arrhythmias or when they cause intolerable side effects. Ablation can significantly improve your quality of life by reducing symptoms, decreasing the risk of complications, and enhancing your heart's efficiency. Arrhythmias occur when the electrical signals that coordinate your heartbeats don't function properly. These electrical signals originate in a part of your heart called the sinus node, often referred to as your heart's natural pacemaker. The sinus node generates electrical impulses that travel through your heart, causing it to contract and pump blood. When these electrical pathways are disrupted, it can lead to an irregular heartbeat. This irregularity can manifest in various ways. You might feel a fluttering or racing sensation in your chest, or your heart might skip a beat or beat too slowly. Arrhythmias can stem from various factors, including coronary artery disease, high blood pressure, thyroid disorders, and electrolyte imbalances. While some arrhythmias might be harmless, others can be serious and require treatment to prevent complications like stroke or heart failure. Before undergoing heart ablation, your doctor will recommend a series of tests to assess your heart's health and determine the best course of treatment. These tests provide crucial information about your heart's rhythm, structure, and the location of the problematic electrical pathways. One of the primary tests is an electrocardiogram. This non-invasive test records your heart's electrical activity, revealing any irregularities in its rhythm. Another important test is an echocardiogram, which uses sound waves to create images of your heart. This helps your doctor evaluate your heart's structure and function, identifying any underlying issues. In some cases, your doctor might recommend a more invasive test called an electrophysiology study. During this procedure, a thin, flexible tube called a catheter is inserted into a blood vessel, usually in your groin, and guided to your heart. The catheter records your heart's electrical activity from within, providing a detailed map of the electrical pathways. A step-by-step -step guide to heart ablation. Heart ablation is typically performed using catheter ablation, a minimally invasive procedure. You'll be given medications to help you relax. A local anesthetic numbs the area where the catheter is inserted. The doctor inserts a catheter into a blood vessel and guides it to your heart using x-rays. The catheter delivers energy to the targeted heart tissue. This energy creates a small lesion, restoring your heart's normal rhythm. After the ablation, the catheter is removed and the site is bandaged. Most patients can go home the same day or the next morning. Section 5, After the Ablation, Your Road to Recovery After your heart ablation procedure, you'll be closely monitored in a recovery area. You might need to stay in the hospital overnight for observation depending on the complexity of your procedure and your overall health. During this time, nurses will check your vital signs, such as heart rate and blood pressure, and monitor you for any signs of complications. You might experience some soreness or bruising at the catheter insertion site, which is normal and should subside within a few days. Your doctor will provide specific instructions regarding activity restrictions, medication adjustments, and follow-up appointments. It's essential to follow these instructions carefully to ensure a smooth recovery. You might be advised to avoid strenuous activities for a few weeks and gradually ease back into your regular routine as you feel comfortable. Your doctor might recommend lifestyle modifications such as a heart-healthy diet and regular exercise to maintain optimal heart health. Weighing the benefits and risks, your heart health journey. Heart ablation surgery offers significant benefits for individuals with arrhythmias, especially when medication fails. By restoring your heart's normal rhythm, ablation can improve your quality of life. Many patients experience fewer symptoms like palpitations, dizziness, and shortness of breath. Ablation can also decrease the risk of stroke, especially in those with atrial fibrillation. However, heart ablation carries potential risks and complications. These can include bleeding, infection, and a need for a repeat procedure. Your doctor will discuss these risks and benefits with you thoroughly.